Ave Maria. It's wonderful to hear that sound and the response from you. I want to hear it again. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Beautiful. I think these walls haven't heard that greeting for a long time, and we all know it. And I think we all came here so different than the last time when the Day of Mary was celebrated here in the cathedral. Those of you that remember that day, we remember that there is one person that is missing among many, and it is Canon Christopher Tuckwell, who used to be the administrator here and who sadly, over a year ago, passed away. So he's very much today with us. He's very much in our hearts, in our prayers, because he loved the day with Mary. He loved it as much as he loved Our Lady. So I hope that we all continue praying for him. And we can pray for ourselves, let's pray for each other, especially for us who suffered the loss of somebody dear and close to us in the last 16 months be it due to COVID or be it due to any other illness. It's always a loss. There is a heartbreak. There is an emptiness that stays in our hearts, especially if we were not able to say our proper farewells. It's hard. But today we put ourselves by the foot of the cross with Our Lady. And we know that the pain that she suffered, the worries that she had, the troubles that she kept in her heart are similar to ours. And we are assured that she is now our mother. And we are her children like St. John who stood by the cross. He says, he received these words, Behold your mother. So today we stand here all as children of our blessed mother, praying with her, praying for each other, venerating her, asking her for so many blessings that we need. And blessings we do need. Now more than ever, we need to know that we are in a good and safe place. And is there a safer place and a better place that under the mantle of our Blessed Mother? There isn't. So today, with all this day, with all our prayers, we will humbly put ourselves under her mantle. We turn to her. We ask her for blessings. We ask for her protection. And we rely on the power and the working of the Holy Spirit. We turn to her, who through the power of the Holy Spirit became the Ark of the Covenant she carried in her womb the Savior of the world. So we ask that the same Holy Spirit works in us and works through us when things go well and when things go wrong. As we heard in the Gospel, we are called to lean on the power of the Holy, Holy Spirit and that Holy Spirit will guide us will give us the right words, will give us the right attitude, the right openness of the heart, so that what we do and say 
can be expression of God's divine will. That Holy Spirit is hovering in the church, is hovering here today in the cathedral, is present in your life, in your family. He is constantly with us. So both of them, our Blessed Mother and the Holy Spirit, today are at work. And I really hope that at the end of this day we will all live transformed. Because if we open our hearts to that work of the Holy Spirit, if we open our hearts to that flow, that river of God's divine love that will be flowing here today, we will live renewed we will live transformed. Our spirits will be healed again. Our faith will be strengthened. Our love for our blessed Lord, through the love that we receive from his mother, will be flowing in our veins so that we could evangelize and be the lamps that shine in the darkness of today's world. This is our calling. This is your calling. This is my calling. This is our everyday calling. So let's open really ourselves to that work of the Holy Spirit, that guidance, that prompting, that power that is working within us. And if that Holy Spirit leads you, to end up on your knees, recognizing your sins. Well, we have many priests today that want to dispense the sacrament of reconciliation. There is a priest waiting for you, a right priest, who is here to give you good news, who is here to dispense God's mercy, who is here to lift you up when you fall. This day, it's a beautiful day. It's a day of blessing. So let us receive from the well of God's blessing. Let us strengthen ourselves through the power of this day. Stay here as long as you can. Allow God to work in you and through the power of the Holy Spirit. And may that mantle of the Blessed Mother stay on you today and always. Amen. Reservoir.